Alan Turner, what are your thoughts concerning the amount of radiation used during CT angiography? What is a reasonable amount of time to wait between scans to limit radiation? For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. Alan, that is a great, great question. And didn't think that there would be a lot of people interested in that. We often cover a book that I wrote, and we have a whole chapter on this issue. It's called Prevention Myths, Why a Stress Test Won't Prevent a Heart Attack and What Will, and it has to do with the overuse of CT angiograms. Now, in the vast majority of cases, CT angiograms are not that much of a risk issue. You used to get into that some in the past when they were more poorly controlled, the quality was not as good. If you're having problems with CT angiogram and radiation now, it's usually in a radiology center that has extremely poor quality control. Here's where you get into significant radiation on these procedures. It's more with angiography and with starting young and repeating them every year. So the typical person that really needs to be concerned about this is somebody who's young, like less than 30, and they had some spooky chest pain. They went to the doc. The doc is one of these guys who says, cha-ching, another chest pain. I can charge another 10, 20, $25,000 for a radiation stress test. And they do that. And then they say, okay, well, it looks like you're okay, but I'd recommend that we do this every year. So starting at age 30, they're getting this. And then they say, oh, you know what? You're in your mid fifties now. And I see a little plaque. I think we need to do a stint. So doing the stint adds a huge additional component of radiation. So these are the folks that are getting into problems. The folks that started young, they're cardiologists wanted to just do it over and over and over again. Then they started adding stents to the process. Those are the folks that are actually getting into areas where they do have radiation risk. The vast majority of the folks that are watching this channel, my patients, for example, are going to get nowhere near 5% of that level of radiation.